Welcome back to the channel guys. This is a very special video. In fact, we've never done something like this before. We are showing you some behind the scenes content, behind the scenes declassified material from our internal communication. Just before this video, we did send out a message to all our team members about how Morales is growing, how the team is developing, which areas of improvements we have, what we've been doing good, what needs to be improved and so on and so forth. And why am I sharing this with you? Well, you have to understand that Web3 is not only tech. All technology has to be built by people. You alone cannot achieve a lot. At some point, you will have to build a team. Maybe you follow this channel and you build some proof of concept. Maybe you follow this channel, you even build the first version of your product. Well, to go global, to, tr to truly help people, because at the end of the day, all tech is to help someone do something. Technology, it's a tool. So if you're building some tech, and you want to reach people and really make a difference. You will never be able to do it alone by yourself, sitting at your computer. You need to build a team. It's always like that. Why? Because you have only 24 hours. And the world is very complex. Tech is very complex. Working alone 24 hours per day is unreasonable. But also, even if you do work 24 hours per day, you will not get anything done because you're alone. So that's why at some point, all of you who are watching this, We'll have to build the team. And we hope that this kind of video helps you because we're facing a lot of challenges ourselves as we're growing the team. We grew from zero last year and soon we are approaching 100 people in our team. It's growing very fast. We're learning a lot. And there are some challenges that we're fixing, some challenges that we're overcoming. And we're sharing that with you because at the end of the day, our goal is to build the best workplace in Web3. Our goal is to reach 1 million developers in 2022. And those are very, very big goals. And if we can share with you how we're achieving them, I hope that it will make your life easier, that you will be able to achieve your goals easier. So if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section because it's the first time we're trying it. And that being said, I'm now playing you our internal declassified, declassified video. All right, guys, another week has passed. Great work, everyone. We're really doing something special here. Our current products, as you know, are mooning. People are adopting them like never before. We are over 100,000 developers using Morales right now. This year, we hope to go to a million. And as you know, our team has grown a lot. So in this internal weekly update, we're going to discuss about how the team has grown, but most importantly, how we are developing the team and ensuring that this is a great place to work because we really care about that. And you know that at the end of last year, we did send out a survey. We sent out a survey about how it is working at Morales with a bunch of questions. And we got this answer, we got the score of 9.2, which is very, very good score if you compare it to industry averages way, way higher. But of course, there are rooms for improvements and we're going to discuss already the actions we took since December because it's already a few months, yeah, two months ago that we did the survey almost. And um, we want 10, of course, <laughs> we, want to, we, want to, we want 10, we don't want 9.2, although we're very happy with 9.2. Uh, and this is fantastic score, it's fantastic result. This is a result that is actually never seen in um, an industry this quickly. And especially when the team grows, as you know, when the team grows, there are many challenges. How to ensure that the communication is great, onboarding is great, this and that. So given where we are in our journey, this is a result that nobody has seen in the past. So it's very, very great work by everyone because we're all making the score together. But of course, there are some things that we have taken specifically, some actions we've taken specifically in order to take it even higher to 10. So by the way, 73% uh, of you guys did the survey next time. We hope that it's closer to 100 because at the end of the day, if you want to make a difference at Morales, you need to do the survey so that we know what, what we should do. So we want 10, <laughs> we want 10 out of 10. So how do we do that? We implement specific actions and we, we do things, you know, we, we move. We don't just sit around looking at the score, being amazed that it's so high because it needs to be higher, okay? It needs to be 10. So uh, the number one thing that we noticed because we've onboarded so many people is that we have to improve the onboarding. And we have videos, we have material, but it can be even better. So onboarding for new team, team members is an area for improvement for us. So we are working on improving it even more. As you know, we've added videos, we've added handbook. It's gonna be even better and even, even clearer because this is something that each and every person that joins has to go through. And of course, the more efficient it is, the faster it is, the clearer it is, the better, the better. So uh, people's teams, they, they do have, have this on this agenda, the people team. 
the people team people have this <laughs> on, the, on their agenda. And there will also be created more team specific onboarding because right now we do have these videos and handbooks and the materials for everyone who joins, but they're the same. And then um, you, you have to really work with your team lead for the specific onboarding for your team. So that needs to be improved, that we have more standardized onboarding even for different teams. So this is already something we're working on and this is something that new team members will experience way, way better. So thanks a lot for that feedback. Next is that many team members that join feel that they need more feedback on their work. Is it good work, bad work, what to improve? And there, the teams, team, the people team, <laughs> okay, the, the people from the people team, they are creating this 360 degrees feedback in Lipson. So it's gonna be in the same system as you did this uh, this survey. Soon you can also do 360 degree feedback. What does it mean? It means that you review your team lead, your team lead reviews you, and I think we we'll also review each other back and forth. People will review me, maybe I can review someone. So it's 360. In all directions, the feedback, the reviews are gonna be falling from the skies you, like you've never seen before as well. And also, even outside of this uh, 360 degree feedbacks, we do also encourage you to ask for feedback uh, and give feedback. So when you see someone doing a good job, tell them this is fantastic, please keep going. If you see someone doing not that great job, maybe they have to step up. It's very important that we all work together to ensure that if, uh, if we see something that needs to be improved, that we, we pick it up because it has to be improved. Uh, so all in all, we encourage you to both Ask for feedback, maybe you need feedback. Maybe you're wondering something. Well, ask for feedback, but also give feedback. So it's very, very important. That's a great feedback for us. Now, as you know, we've also taken a lot of action when it comes to equipment. So now you get more than $1,000 per year in yearly perk for equipment. Maybe you want a screen, maybe you want something else, some kind of uh, a training machine, maybe some bike you want to get so you can work out because working remotely, you know, it's a, it's a lot of sitting. But we also have health perks, but that's another thing. So all in all, equipment is important. You, you all need to have great mics, guys. I mean, that's important. If you don't have a good mic, kind of that sounds like I'm speaking now, you need to get a great mic because we do a lot of calls and it's very tiring for the brain to hear someone with a bad mic, okay? <laughs> so, so please, if you don't have a good mic, get it, get it. And also get a good camera because we spend so much time in in meetings that these things, they, they pay off massively. So uh, please do it. If you have some kind of old mic from 2013, some kind of you know, old uh, gaming mic you bought when you still played a, a lot of games like a teenager, you know. It's time to change, all right? Time to change, time to change. So uh, use that. And of course, you do whatever you want. Maybe you need the mouse, monitor. Maybe you need something else. Uh, you have all of this amazing equipment perks. So that's number one. Number two, as you know, we also have health and uh, fitness perk. So number one, you can uh, uh, join our weekly workouts on discord it's fantastic it's very nice it's very tough i mean don't think that it's uh, it's gonna be some uh, some workout that is not worth your time it's really worth your time you spend 30 minutes it's like you you train you train so much you you, you could never even think that it's possible to train this much via um, uh, via slack because we, we do it uh, it is via google hangouts but you go to the fitness channel in our slack but we have professional trainer that calls in on google hangouts they have nice music they have a nice program and you can do it at your desk you can do it at your desk you don't have to have your camera on if you don't want uh, although that's always fun when people have camera on so we, <laughs> so we can see each other but you don't have to and just join join next week go to the fitness channel in slack join next week and try because I think some of you may think that it's not worth your time there's you know is gonna be some stretching exercise or something easy but look you're gonna feel that this this really gives you a lot a lot of workout it, it, it's not it's not easy okay and it's different all the time so yoga sometimes sometimes this sometimes that different kinds of fitness and also, if you want to join a gym or something in the real world, not in the metaverse, which is like Google Hangouts fitness, <laughs> but in the real world, then you also get the perk. So, so that's important. Go and read in our internal wiki for the perks. And by the way, our internal wiki now, it's, it moved to Notion. It's very important, by the way. Now it is a notion. It's not in Git books. Look, we made a mistake with Git books. It, it's not a good UI. It's very clunky, ugly. Uh, you don't want to go there. And uh, I felt that myself. Yeah, I'm like, should I go to the internal handbook? But then ah, I need to go to Git book, login. It's so clunky and messy. So, you know, look, 
if I and Philip don't want to go there, then of course nobody will go there. <laughs> so we thought it's time to move. So now we have it in Notion. Notion so nice, beautiful, many uh, emojis is the emoji land. I call Notion the emoji land because everyone is posting how which emojis they have for each category. So we do we're happy now on the uh, on the uh, Notion, and you can see. Let me go here. You so you should all get this as soon as possible. And you, you oh, it's the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. Anyway, I cannot really show it here. But uh, go download Notion and join the the uh, handbook, the handbook for the team. And you see there how to how to claim the perks and all of that. Uh, now another thing is the career path. So we we've, we've been growing the team a lot. We have many new roles. Uh, airdropped uh, all the time as we discovered that we need many new roles you know from the beginning we were a small team and um, then we grew and uh, suddenly we realized that there are certain roles that we never thought before we needed but now we do need them as we grow and for coordination and so people can focus on their core core task and not do a lot of admin we need whole different types of people now that can do admin that can do more of this um, more of this uh, more of these tasks that are cross team or, or maybe within a team but to speak with different stakeholders uh, so it, it's been a lot it's been a lot with new roles which of course sometimes we didn't have time yet to figure out exactly the career path for each and every role. So, so that's something that we know has not been clear. And we've also seen it in the survey that we need to be better at this. But it is coming as well. So we've taken action there. But all in all, guys, thanks for taking the survey. This survey, again, is going to come in a um, few months. It's going to come in uh, June, July or something. So it's going to be two times per year. It's half year survey. So we hope that it's higher than 9.2. Uh, and we also hope that you participate in it, uh, that that you participate. And as you know, it's fully anonymous. It's fully anonymous. So please speak your mind. And when I say that we need to be, <laughs> to be, be uh, more than 9.2, uh, I'm saying that you should be completely honest. And we hope that with our changes and our improvements, that um, it is higher than 9.2. But if you feel that it's it's not worth 9.2, maybe you feel it's lower in six months, then you should of course write that. So it's completely anonymous and the most important thing is that we have the correct data. We have the right data. We know exactly how you guys are feeling, how you guys are looking at our team and how it's developing. And of course, we do our best to be at 10, uh, but this result should always reflect the reality. So I hope that makes sense. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and have a good weekend. See you all very, very soon. Great work as always, everyone. And uh, goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye.